What's good, everybody? It's your boy Rob RP3, and I'm back for another video. Yeah, I got the T Mobile variant of the Note 10 Plus. Guess what? My update has just dropped. Oh, well, let's go. All right, everybody. So I'm about to go ahead and uh, install this right now on the Note 10, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if it's true about everything I have been reading. Now, there's supposed to be some changes in the animation. Uh, there's also some changes in how you use the gesturing. You know, one UI is a lot more smoother. Uh, this is a pretty big uh, download. I think Verizon and AT&T is also getting their um, updates. So it's a little late Christmas present, but you know, I've always said uh, only way you can get the next iteration of Android is to buy a new Samsung when it comes to Samsung phones. but it looks like they might be proving me wrong, dropping 10.0 now before the uh, next variant hits the market. So uh, kudos, I guess. I mean, it's Samsung. I mean, really, they should have had this out way back in October. And the Note 10, if you really want to be critical, uh, should have dropped with Android 10 when the uh, Note premiered uh, a little while ago. But it is what it is. I'm glad I'm getting it now. So I'm going to go ahead, let this update. I'll be right back in a second. Okay, now that we got the update together, uh, with the new One UI 2.0, there's supposed to be some improvements. Uh, when you're using the wallpaper, one of the things that I read that no matter what type of wallpaper you, you're going to be using, that the actual text under the icon should show better than it had in the previous iteration. Uh, let's go into the settings and let's... Let's make our way around really quick. I'm not going to be on this too long. Um, update is an update. Uh, let's check out the display. Uh, let's check out what dark mode is right now. Boom. Dark mode looks pretty good. Still using that royal blue. I think you could change the accent colors. Uh, screen mode. You have the vivid natural. You can play with the white balance on that. There's also an advanced settings where you really can get in detail of how you want your display to look. Uh, font size, you can set that up. How you want your font to look. Uh, screen resolution, got mine turned all the way up. Screen time all, you know, pretty much the same thing. Navigation bar, let's see if anything changed in here. You have full screen navigations. You do have the navigation buttons. You can change the order. And uh, other than that, you can adjust the touch sensitivity, which is pretty much the same. Let's see here, biometrics and security. Pretty much the same, nothing new here. They do have the secure Wi-Fi. I don't know if anybody uh, ever turns that on. But uh, if you're out and about at a, a public Wi-Fi, uh, turning that on will help protect you. Uh, you can get it. You can get a protection plan for more uh, data. But uh, right now, the free version only protects you up to about 250 megabytes of uh, information. You just go in there, hit protect, and boom, you're gonna be protected for however long your plan says you are protected. Uh, let's see right here. Check out the digital well-being app. There's supposed to be some changes in here. Way more simplified, easy to read, easy to comprehend the information. You got uh, telling you what you spend more of your time doing. Uh, your app timers, you got focus mode. So if you ever want to take a break from your phone, you can go ahead and set that up. Um, 
wind down, you know, things to do before, you know, going to bed, a screen will go into a grayscale. Uh, it's not healthy to be looking at a bright AMOLED display right before you go to sleep. It can interfere with your sleep patterns. Uh, the device care, uh, very easy to read, much more simplified with Android 10.0. This may be also a result of the one UI 2.0. So that's why I think this more or less is uh, new from one uh, UI. Optimize now, boom, 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 boom. You're done, good to go, free to 3.9 gigabytes. So that's way more nice and easy to uh, read and uh, helps you break down all that information. Uh, you got general management, language input. This is where you can come in and change your keyboards and all of those type of cool things. And uh, you got the software update accessibility. Let me see, pretty much it. You can uh, do a screen reader, but that's, that's annoying. Uh, advanced settings. You can uh, kind of do a little personalized little things in this setting, but uh, some of the biggest things that I see is animations that have changed uh, when you go in between apps. Let me see here. Like you see how that animation just opens up when you watch that again when you turn it on. So can you imagine when you get the new Galaxy 20 or Galaxy S11 or wherever it is going to go by with a 90 hertz refresh rate? These animations are going to look beautiful when it comes to opening up that app. So again, also you see how the, the Google adjusted, the Google bar adjusted to the dark theme, uh, pull down pretty much uh, is the same. Um, nice looks, nice and clean. Also, the update has came through also on my Samsung uh, Galaxy 10 Plus. So um, what I'm showing you is pretty much the same thing that's happening with that. But again, um, that's pretty much it for the update. Uh, I need to go. I, I mean, I just did it and I haven't really had enough time to go into in-depth detail about what's been going on with this. So give me a little time. Um, I'll probably be able to come back with you in a later video and we can discuss more about the changes that's in Samsung One UI 2.0 and Android 10, which has finally come to the Galaxy lineup notes and S line so again if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have any questions please leave them down below other than that i'll catch everybody in the next video i'm out